Hey there, mortals, it's me, your favorite Aramaic god of wealth and prophet mammon in the flesh. Well, not really flesh, more like in the spirit, but you get the idea. Today I'm going to tell you the story of my fabulous life in my own words. So it all started way back in ancient times, when people started putting a little too much importance on money and material possessions. Thanks a lot, humans. They started praying to me, worshipping me, and basically making me the be-all, and end all of their existence. I mean, who can blame them? I'm a pretty big deal. As the god of wealth and profit, I've seen it all. From kings and queens hoarding gold, and jewels to shady merchants, making deals in dark alleys. I've been there, done that, and let me tell you, it's been quite the ride. But being the god of wealth, and profit isn't all glitz and glam. You know, people tend to get a little too obsessed with money, and they start doing some downright ridiculous things in my name. Like seriously, guys, sacrificing goats and burning piles of cash? Come on, get a grip, and don't even get me started. On the whole, greed is good mentality. Sure, I understand the importance of securing a comfortable future for yourself, but there's a fine line between being financially savvy, and being downright greedy. Trust me, I've seen it all, and it's not a pretty sight. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. I've had some pretty good times, too. I've helped some genuinely generous and kind-hearted folks achieve their dreams and make a positive impact on the world. And let's be honest, nothing feels better than seeing someone use their wealth and influence for the greater good. So there you have it. The life of yours truly, Mammon in a nutshell. It's been a wild ride, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Just remember, folks, a healthy balance of wealth and generosity is the key to a happy and fulfilling life. And if you ever need a little extra luck in the financial department, you know who to call. Cheers!